Hello everyone! On my last video, I shown how you can make your own solar charger for the Nintendo Switch, and I've been wondering what is the next step forward, or should we say the step back. Today's video is actually my original idea before the Nintendo Switch DIY solar charger. I saw Matt Casey's video about running a Genesis on batteries. So I thought, why not making it even better and run it on solar energy? And that was my goal, but the solar panel that I got was actually too weak to sustain the voltage needed, and it didn't work. So I reworked the idea and made a portable charger for my switch. Now I got a new solar panel, and this one is much stronger. It outputs 12 volts at 30 watts. And you must be thinking that is a little bit too much, but actually the original Genesis AC adapter outputs a similar voltage. When the Genesis is turned on, the load will decrease the voltage a little bit, and besides, the console has an internal voltage regulator. And guess what? The Super Nintendo also runs on 9 volts, so we can have the golden age of gaming running on solar energy. The Super Nintendo AC adapter plugs is a little bit different than the regular P4 plug on the Genesis, so I had to improvise a way to separate the positive and negative wires. And I have a 3D printer, so why not? I 3D printed a small cylinder with the same measurements of the original plug. And that should be enough to make sure that the wires won't touch when connected. One more thing to keep in mind is that the polarity on the Super Nintendo in Genesis is reversed. You should take a look at your AC adapter and check this icon to make sure you won't reverse the polarities. With the AC adapter problem solved, there is one more thing. How would we power the screen? There is no way we could power a CRT with a simple solar panel. And even an LCD will require a lot of energy. We could buy a simple LCD panel, but that will require additional circuits to get the composite signal from the console, and not to mention that we wouldn't have speakers. If only we had a super accessible and cheap high quality screen that is widely available anywhere in the planet and that it will be super efficient on battery while also having speakers. Yes, I'm looking at you smartphone. At first I thought about disassembling a cheap smartphone and taking the screen to the project in this video. But uh, I seen this video from Great Scott and it explains that it's not that simple as it seems. So I researched and researched and found out a solution that won't require any disassembling while also allowing me to use the screen and speakers on the smartphone with no effort. Behold the easy cap. And yes, with a cheap capture card you can get any composite signal to your smartphone. You can even use it with HD consoles if you have a small capture card like this one. And the best point is that it doesn't have lag, at least with the easy cap. To use the easy cap on your phone, all you need to do is install the FB Viewer app and use an OTG cable to connect the capture card to your phone. And here's the complete setup. I connected the solar panel wires directly to the Super Nintendo AC input. And my easy cap to my phone. All that's left to do is turn it on and enjoy. Success, it works! And if you look closely, there is little to no lag at all. The image quality is not perfect, like when using an emulator, but it's decent.
And again, just to show you this is running entirely on solar energy, here's the back. As long as you have a bright sunny day, you can enjoy your Super Nintendo anywhere. And the smartphone can be charged with the panel too. Let's test it out with the Sega Genesis now. The plug was easier to assemble in this setup. And it's working too. The image is black and white, but I believe that it has to do with the capture card. And to confirm my hypothesis, I assembled this dumb setup just to use my HDMI capture card. You can see it's working and the image is a bit yellowed and there's no sound. That's because the sun was not so intense anymore and the FP viewer didn't work well with this capture card. I tested it out again with another app and the Genesis plugged in and the results were much better. And that's it! I got my original idea out of the paper and working. This setup is a little bit absurd as it would be much better to just emulate those games. But this was just to prove the concept and I'm using the real hardware here. And the NES and Master System also works with 9 volts, so the same setup would work with them too. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get the newest updates and leave a comment or a like. Stay tuned and I'll see you next time.